Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show. I'm your host, Paul, and this one's for the kids and um, the adults who spent Christmas watching Disney's latest movie, Soul. Throughout this video, we're going to be breaking down the film's ending, some of its Easter eggs, and the true meaning behind it. If you enjoyed the video, then please hit the thumbs up button, and also make sure you subscribe to the channel for breakdowns like this each and every day. Now, the movie itself follows Joe Gardner, a music teacher who suffers a critical injury before getting his big break. Before you can say, have you been in an accident that wasn't your fault, Joe is transported to the soul world which is where spirits arrive before heading into the great beyond. Due to having unfinished business on earth, Joe breaks out of this purgatory between worlds and lands in the great before which is where souls are given their personalities before being born. Posing as a mentor in order to not get sent back, he's assigned to a problem soul named 22 who doesn't want to be born because, well, she, she's probably seen 2020. Now in order to journey to Earth, these young souls have to fill up a travel badge that basically builds them with personality traits and the pair agree to make a deal to fill it up so that Joe can take it and return. There's a moment in the movie in which there's a ton of easter eggs and during the trip through the Hall of Everything, we can see the balloon from Up as well as the planet pizza truck which has appeared in every Pixar movie. There's also the infamous lamp that makes up their logo and the Hall of Everything is filled to the brim. You may remember that there was a pizza rat spotted in New York a couple of years ago and this even makes an appearance in the movie. Now Soul sort of becomes somewhat of a body swap film with the pair actually making it to Earth but Joe lands in a cat whereas 22 takes over his body. Soul is very much about finding the beauty in life and we see as 22 experiences things on Earth such as eating pizza for the first time, having a subway blow the wind up through you, seeing happy families and so on and probably subscribing to the heavy spoilers show. Now the movie kind of goes back and forth with 22 and Joe going on a journey as he tries to get back to his body so he can perform at the gig and make it to his big break. However, the film also allows 22 to come to the understanding that there is good in the world and that she will have a reason to live. Now Joe believed that the only thing worth doing was playing jazz and that if he was unable to do this then life simply wouldn't have a meaning. Thus, he's fixated on this thing at the expense of everyone around him. In the movie, we journey to a realm known as The Zone, which is where those lost in what they do travel to. However, there's also a downside to it, and souls can become trapped there if they've turned something into an unhealthy obsession. These people's lives have sort of lost their meaning and became disconnected because they are fixated on one thing instead of all aspects of life. The message of the movie for me is that though there are things such as your spark which drive your existence, that shouldn't be the only thing your existence is about. We meet these sort of angel like creatures in the film called Jerry's who explain that a spark fills a hole but that many people fall into the trap of thinking that they exist just for one reason. Joe at one point in the film even says that he exists solely to play and that nothing else matters. I know on a personal level that uh, I've kind of just fallen into making YouTube videos non-stop this year instead of actually taking some time off and though I love what I do, this message did mean something to me. I think many of the adults watching this, and yeah I, I know you'll be out there, have probably had times where they wanted to do something with their kids, friends or family but that something else has just got in the way and thus they've spent too much time focusing on that rather than having a balanced life. Joe got a full time job teaching music to kids but he still didn't care and because of his obsession he pretty much brushed this to the side. We see throughout the movie that there's a Terry that's obsessed with numbers and the count and because of this in comparison to the other beings he's a very short character. The other Jerry's are taller symbolizing that they've been able to grow because they've found the beauty in a lot of things. In being 22's mentor, Joe sort of passes on his world view to her and she actually ends up having a worse experience with him than she did with the other mentors who let her down. Joe actually manages to make it back into his body after casting 22 to the side and he gets his big gig. Everything goes off without a hitch, it's the moment that he'd hoped for his entire life but something, something just feels empty. Now this should feel like a win but because he's pretty much focused on this at the expense of others, there's no one to celebrate it with. So he spends his night alone in his apartment looking over some of the things that 22 collected on earth. These symbols pretty much represent how much fun she had living his life and in many ways she enjoyed it more than he did. 
Thus, the hollow victory of finally getting to play Jazz has meant that he's missed out on some of the joys in life and has also let 22 down. Joe can easily travel to the zone whenever he wishes to through music, but if he spends all his time there, he'll be like the other miserable zombies that roam the realm, completely empty with no purpose in life outside of this one thing. Joe, inspired by the tokens that she collected and his own experiences, goes back into the zone and we see that because he instilled in her this belief that life should be only about one thing, that she has a very negative view. I kind of view this almost like a bushy parent that forces their child into doing what they wish they'd had, whether it's sport or art. The choice is being removed from the child as to whether this is what they actually want to do and they end up existing solely for one reason, similar to what we see with Joe. She clearly resents him and in her mind he's a towering figure that is pretty much the leader of the mentors in the past who failed and let her down. This apparition tells her that she has no reason to live and I think this makes Joe realise how much he failed her. However, Joe breaks through to her and tells her that she will find a reason but that gets decided only when you live. In saving her life, he also saves his own and he decides to give 20 to the pass which will allow her to travel to Earth. Joe jumps towards it with her and though he can't go all the way, he can go as far as he can. The Jerry's realise that he's come a long way and they give him another chance on Earth. The Jerry asks what he's going to do and how he will spend his time and Joe just says that he doesn't know. We don't know what's going to be around the corner, but life is full of ups and downs that make it worth living, but as long as we can appreciate what we have and find people to share the experience with, we will be living a fulfilling one. Now this ending is deliberately left ambiguous, however there were several plans by the creators to give us concrete answers. In an interview with Den of Geek, the film's director Peter Doctor said, We storyboarded a bunch of stuff where Joe and 22 met. One of them was in New York, 22 was like a student that Joe later recognises. In another one, she actually ended up in India as a kid living there. However, in the end they decided to leave these answers up to the audience and Doctor stated, it's kind of one of those things where I feel like if the audience falls in love with these characters, I would rather that they have their own answers to where they ended up rather than trying to provide all those answers for them. For me, it's a really great joy when you can create these things that have a life of their own that sparks a whole story for someone else. This is why I really like the ending of the movie and throughout Joe's life he'd had this drive to do one thing but found something else entirely. In the movie before playing on stage, he does state that his life is just about to begin. By the end, we discover that there's actually an alternate thing behind it. His life begins in the end because he finds something else beyond his obsession and he realises that Jazz shouldn't be the only reason he's alive. 22 and Joe both learn how to live from one another and now they will experience all the ups and downs, finding joy in them. Doctor stated that the last line of the film was going to be, I'm going to enjoy every moment of it. However, in the end they decided to change it to just live because it's impossible to enjoy each and every moment of life. It's a better understanding of what it means to be alive and I absolutely love this change as it carries a lot more with it. The film ends with Terry telling everyone to go home and though this is sort of a post credit scene, it actually carries the meaning that we should go out and make the most of what we have. In the end, Soul was a blast and for me it gets an 8.5 out of 10. Now don't forget that on the 30th of December we're giving away 3 copies of the Lord of the Rings 4K box set to our subscribers. All you have to do to be on with a chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe with notifications on and drop a comment below with your thoughts on the film. The links to our socials are in the description and you can also support the channel by clicking the join button below and as a thank you, you get videos like this early. If you want something else to watch then make sure you check out our breakdown of Wonder Woman 1984 which will be linked on screen right now. We go over the entire thing and give our thoughts on its ending, so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. With that out of the way, thank you for sticking through the video. I've been Paul, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.